Yeah. Ever since I had my stroke almost three years ago now, and uh, you have no idea what it's like when you have a stroke and part of your brain is gone and it, it paralyzes a lot of your body. And through it all, this whole experience, my wife, Beverly, has been there for me. <laughs> and I have to say I thank God for her because she's been so good for me, to me, and with me. I always remember the day at uh, the rehabilitation place I was at called Kessler in Saddlebrook when one day she said to me, you know, we're going to go through this <laughs> together. And even now when I'm talking, when I have emotions, it's hard for me to express them without looking like a jerk. But it's the way it is. So I titled this poem, Loving Days of a Wife. Should I not wake in the morning, if destiny closes my eyes for eternity, I hope that you will know I fell to slumber with a love <laughs> that death cannot extinguish. So my love, remember the days of golden laughter, <laughs> the magic moments when we entwined in love's embrace. Let your tears <laughs> cascade for a time and then live life to its fullest. Embracing roses fragrant, watch the chickadees in their fancy and funny ways. Yes, remember our days, our wanderings together. My dearest, I'll be waiting with arms outstretched, embraced by the light of love from above, and also lifted by the memory of your love and your laughter. While days and moments become months and years, deep, grati deep gratitude I owe you for your outstretched love, your outstretched soul of kindness. You'll forever be cherished in God's kingdom above. My love, my wife. Thank you. I love you. That's my wife, Beverly. What a woman. Wonderful woman.